It's Joe, and this is my next project. Hey, what's up? We're just kind of picking up where we left off last video, which is getting ready to mount these rear shocks and there's some stuff that had to be taken care of. And one, I needed to trim the back of these frame horns just a little bit and they'll be cleaned up again later. But the yoke was hitting, the third link on top was hitting, so I had to cut out some of that. But here's something that was interesting that I had to check out. And how do I explain this? Panard bar. You see the panard bars up? I've got this thing jacked. The rear end's jacked up and that basically means the chassis's at full droop. Chassis down as far, about as far as that will go. It'll probably go more than that. And we're gonna look at this angle. <clears throat> If you can see it, I can't see in there. I think it's about five degrees. Okay, see if I can hold this. I'm gonna hold it on that. And I'm gonna let the rear end down, which would be the chassis up as far as it'll go. Can you see that well enough? Because I can't see it very good from here. Here we go. Go down, hopefully slow. There we go. Okay, <laughs> that's about four degrees. So we lost a degree or maybe it's still five. It didn't change much. And look how far down the panard bar is now. So that tells me that this thing stays pretty even going up and down. And that makes a difference to me where the shocks Hey, sorry about that. I hope nobody got hurt and you didn't drop your beer or anything. Anyway, I was just checking that because I see these uh, coil spring and shock mounts struggling sometimes. They mount them like this, they put the spring on it and they're going up and down and up and they're just wearing that bushing out. So we did pretty good. We can go straight up and straight down relatively straight up and straight down. That's gonna mount in there somewhere like that, but we're gonna have to cut it off. We're gonna cut it off and make it a little shorter. And let's figure out how short. Hold on one minute. Oh, you wanted to know how short? How about this short? I got to looking at this and this half inch bolt in there, even if that was grade eight, Single shear, mounting a shock on that, putting the whole weight of the rear of the car on it. I just wasn't comfortable with that. So I moved up and I built some of these and they're a little bit shorter. They use a 5 8 bolt. Similar thing, they go on the similar way and they mount just like this. And the coil over sits on there and that sucker is stout. So now we know, now we know where the brackets on this frame are gonna go and where we can mount this tubing coming out. We mount it up and down correctly. These little double shear brackets ought to hit it just perfect and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. Hey, thanks for tuning in.